Aspen Discovery allows you to add many links to your site, either along the top above the search bar or in the side menu next to the sign in link. These menu links are super handy for linking to pages you create with Aspen's web builder, pages out on an external website, or even to other parts of Aspen, like the materials request form, online card registration form, the advanced search, and many more. There are two types of links you can create. There's a regular link, which takes you straight to the link URL, or nested links, where you click on the link title and a drop down with more link options appears. To get started, head to Aspen Administration, scroll down to Primary Configuration, click Library Systems, then edit your library system setting. These system settings correspond to the individual catalogs you have set up in your instance of Aspen. So in your library, you may see multiple, uh, or you may just see one setting, depending on your system and your permissions. Either clicking the edit button or this little ID with the pencil icon will get you into the settings. Once you're in, scroll down a bit until you see the menu links section. I'm going to click add new a few times to add my menu links. Let's say I want to build three menu links, two direct links to events and online resources. Then I want an about us drop down with three nested link options within. The first field we have is category. I'll type in events. Next, I will enter the link text. Since I want this to be a single link, I'm going to enter the same thing, events. Type or paste the URL into the URL field. Now, you'll notice I skipped over this column, this font awesome icon name column. You can add icons next to your menu links to customize them. So if you click the little I graphic here, a new window will open with all the available icons to use. I like to use control F here to search around on the page for common things like book or calendar. So here are my calendar icons. What you'll do is copy the text here don't copy the ID number or the icon itself. Switch back to your menu links tab and paste that in. Next, I want to add to the online resources page built within Aspen. I'm going to type in the link category text here. So we'll say online resources. I'm going to put in my icon and I'll type in online resources again. Then to link to the online resources page that Aspen builds, you can just put in the URL aliases here, uh, which will always be forward slash web builder forward slash resources list. And this goes for any web builder page that you build in Aspen. You can always just link to the URL alias instead of putting in the entire URL. Finally, I want to create my nested links for about us. I know I want the header link to say about us. So I'm going to enter that in the category field for all three of these links. The three nested links I want are locations, connect, which sends them to a social media and email contact page and a link to friends of the library. So now I have three links here. These are the individual nested links and the link header is the category. So they all share that together and you'll see how it comes together once I save this and we take a look. Now that I've finished entering in all the URLs and the font awesome icon name, let's scroll over to the right to take a look at our other options here. First, we have show in top menu, large screens only. If you want your link to appear in the top menu, then make sure to click this. 
If you'd rather your link live in the side menu only, then don't check this box. So I'm going to check the box just for the events page and the online resources, and we'll leave about us in the side menu for now. Next, there's show icon and top menu, all screen sizes. Checking this box will ensure that even if the screen size is reduced or you're viewing Aspen from a mobile device, at least the icon will still show in the top menu. Let's switch over to our friends at Uinta County to demonstrate. Here we are on Uinta's site. It's the full screen view and we can see all their menu links here at the top. But when we shrink the screen size, all but one of the menu link icons leaves the top menu. So you may wanna think about which icons you want to keep up there with different screen sizes. Some icons are probably more self-explanatory than others. Like most people will probably recognize the calendar icon, but they may not know what the little sparkly hand icon means without the text. Also note that the menu links don't disappear completely when the screen size is reduced. They just pop over to the side menu here, so they're still accessible. Next up in our menu link settings, there's show expanded. This option applies to menu links in the side menu. If this setting is checked, any nested menu links will show automatically underneath the link heading when they're in the side menu. Otherwise, users will need to click the link heading to see the nested options. So to show you what I mean, let's save our changes. And here we have our events link, our online resources, and the about us shows here in the side menu since I didn't check Show Expanded, I have to click About Us to see the options. If I wanted to change that, I would check Show Expanded next to all of those links. Next, there's an option for whether or not clicking the link should open in a new tab. Published is also here and checked by default. This just means that the link is visible to your users. Notice here, there's also a show to logged in users only option. Checking this will, you guessed it, show the link only to users who are logged in. However, we have some more interesting options that go along with this functionality if we click the edit button next to a link. Scroll down a bit. And when we check show to logged in users only here, you'll be able to limit the menu links to users who are logged in and our specific patron types. This means you could potentially link out to a special staff only page right from Aspen and only staff users who are logged in will be able to see the link. Below those patron types, you can also select the language for your menu link. This doesn't automatically translate the menu links this just corresponds to the interface language your users are currently using Aspen with. By default, all language translations you have for your instance of Aspen are selected here. However, if you wanted to create a separate set of menu links that would only appear for users browsing Aspen with the Spanish language interface, you could create those and select only Spanish here. Then you could have those menu links take users to Spanish versions of your web builder pages or pages on your website. To show you what I mean, here's the El Paso County Digital Library, and they've created a set of menu links in English that link to English web builder pages and a set of links in Spanish that link to Spanish versions of the same web builder pages. They've created their whole site in Aspen's web builder. So let's click on an English link. Clicking that takes you to a web builder page in English. When we switch to Spanish, we get a different set of menu links in Spanish. And these link to separate Spanish web builder pages. Once you have your menu links however you like them, don't forget to save your changes. We have this handy floating save button on most of our setting pages now. If you'd like to delete any of your menu links, just scroll over to the right hand side and click 
the delete button in the actions column, then save your changes. If you want to add new menu links later and rearrange them, click on the sorting arrows in this column here, then drag and drop the menu links in the order that you want them to appear. So right now on my menu, I have events first, then online resources and about us. So if I want about us to show first in the order, I'll need to move events down and then online resources down. Save my changes. And now I see my reorganized menu links. McKinney Texas uses several menu links, but my favorites are the ones that link out to their children's catalog. And on this catalog, they have links to their programming guide and their calendar, games, and Beanstack for reading programs. Pretty awesome. Round Rock Public Library has some great menu links too, and a few of them link to places in Aspen. Clicking on reading lists, takes you out to the list search in Aspen. A great way to get your users to explore that functionality. They also have a link that goes straight to the advanced search screen. And they've linked to their Niche Academy page with the tutorial link. And here they've created all kinds of tutorials for users on how to navigate through Aspen. Finally, over in the side menu, they have a My Library Card menu link, which takes you to that section of the user account that displays your library card number and barcode. If you want to link to that part of the user account too, you can link to forward slash my account forward slash library card with the beginning of each word capitalized. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that this has inspired you to create some menu links of your own, give you some good ideas. And if you decide to link to something really cool on your site, let us know. We love to see your ideas. Thank you.